Good morning, Moreland. Happy Thursday, April 11th, 2024. It is a day three on the day cycle calendar. Happy Thursday. I finally said Thursday. If you would have seen my first take of the announcements this morning, I said Monday. It's not Monday. It's Thursday. So happy Thursday to all of you today. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Um, let's get through today. And ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is Friday. So something to look forward to tomorrow. Have a fantastic day today. Put in those, put in that hard work, uh, follow those expectations. And here's to an incredible day at school. I should introduce, there's two people that we have, that have been walking around the school who have joined our family here at Moreland. Um, Miss Tuck, is one of our new IAs. Miss, if you see Miss Tuck around, she has been working with Miss Martin, Miss Cantrell, um, and uh, Miss uh, Jordan. Please be sure to to welcome her to Moreland. And our hall monitor, Mr. Johnson, is here with us. So um, be sure to give him a happy, happy Moreland greeting as well. Welcome them both to Moreland. We are super excited to have them on as a part of our family. On this 11th, there are no birthdays to celebrate today. Um, today's lunch is mac and cheese, and the alternate is a salad. So did you get a chance to use our word of the week this week? Tantalizing. Tantalizing, remember, means to tease or tempt. Perhaps your siblings tantalize you with something that you can't have. Perhaps it's a, a dessert or a sweet treat. Um, perhaps you didn't finish your dinner and they did and they get a sweet treat and then they tantalize you or it is tantalizing that they are eating that treat in front of you. How have you been tantalized this week? Think about all the opportunities that we are teased or tempted um, by the things around us. And when you think of that, hopefully it encourages you or reminds you to use our word tantalizing in conversation. So tantalizing is our word of the week. Give it a shot. Tomorrow is Friday, so you only have today and tomorrow left this week. Our core value is patience, and the animal this month is a koi fish. The beautifully colored fish you see in a koi pond are actually a variety of carp, a common fish found around the world. The living jewel colors of Nishikigoi, the more precise Japanese name, were developed over centuries by humans who bred them. Koi symbolize many things, from love to peace to success. Prized koi, which are kept in ideal conditions and are well taken care of, can live 25 or even 50 years or more. Sometimes much, much more than that. One koi, it is, was said to have lived to be 226 years old. That's incredible. That is incredible. Um, so the koi fish, um, I did not realize that they had a longer name, Nishikigoi, perhaps. I, 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 that's a Japanese name. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but who knew that koi was just part of a larger name? And who knew that they could live 25 to 50 years? And if this is actually accurate, 225 years, that's actually incredible. So we're going to learn more about the koi fish and how they demonstrate patience this month um, and why they are the animal this month. Continue to practice being patient, continue to practice not being tantalized by the things around you, and have a fantastic day at school. Let's stand and say our Moreland mantra together. I am kind, I am capable, I am valued, we are one. Remain standing for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, Moreland.